A timeline animation controls how subcompositions, groups, and widgets animate when you take your overlay on or off air. Timeline animations can be accessed within the property panel. They are represented as colored bars in the animation menu tab. To modify the animation's time placement, you can click and drag the bar left and right. You can also click and drag either end of the bar to shorten or lengthen the animation's duration. By default, a single animation is enabled for both in and out moves. If you want to have a different in animation than your out animation, you can enable two different animation timelines by clicking on the two timelines button in the top portion of the animation tab. If you decide you want your in and out animations to be the same, you can always toggle back to one animation timeline. To access the settings of a specific timeline animation, click on the white icon located on the animation bar. These settings include type, direction, duration, and curve. This is where you can start to really fine tune the look of your timeline animations. Make a couple of changes and then test them by clicking the in and out buttons below the output window or by using the composition navigator. Adding animations to groups can be more useful than adding several individual animations when you want all of the elements within that group to have the same animation. If, for example, a widget has its own timeline animation, but it's also within a group that has a timeline animation, it will animate both. Keep this in mind as each widget, when added to your composition, comes with a default fade animation that needs to be removed manually if you don't want it. For more information on timeline animations and other ways to animate in Composer, check out the Singular Support Portal.